News at Noon. A Saudi national accused of first degree murder claims he's being held in jail illegally despite posting $2 million in bail. That story's first on Fox. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Burns. Good afternoon. I'm Nick Vassos. Fox News John Pepitone live in Warrensburg, where a judge is considering whether bond should be granted to Zaid Abid. John? Yeah, that's right, Nick. You know, Zaid Abid is accused of paying another man to kill a Warrensburg bar owner here in Johnson County, Missouri. And even though the Saudi government has paid $2 million to get Abid out on, on bond, he hasn't been released. He's been held for 172 days now, a claim his lawyers say is illegal. Now, this morning, a Johnson County, Missouri judge said that although Abid has paid $2 million to the court, he failed to meet the conditions of bail that were set because no bond paperwork was completed and he failed to use a licensed Missouri bonding company as required by the court order. Abid's lawyer, veteran Kansas City defense attorney Pat Peters, called this the most extreme conditions of bond of any case he's seen in 28 years. Peters claims there are 47,000 Saudi students in the United States, and it's the policy of the wealthy Saudi government to pay their college tuition, and if they're charged with a crime, the Saudi government also posts their bond. Peters claims this is the first time a Saudi national has not been released after putting up bail. And he says the only difference in this case is the amount of the bond, $2 million. The court says it's concerned that because Abid's student visa has expired, he could be deported by Homeland Security if he's released on bail. Now, the judge says he will take all of these bond issues under advisement. I spoke with the murder victim's mother, Diane Whitworth, after the hearing. She declined to appear on camera, but she says she's frustrated by these continued attempts to get Abid released. She's convinced that he will flee the country if that happens, rather than face trial. I'm John Pepitone, Fox 4 News, working for you live in Warrensburg.